Alright, fellow babies, welcome back to Pactor Factor on Sifted.net. Um, I'm Michael Pactor, your host. I am hopeful you're watching this real time as a Patreon patron, thank you very much, or real time as a YouTube subscriber, thank you very much. Um, please remember if you are paying or you are not paying a subscription fee that you are already paying Amazon for Prime and Amazon has a free perk. If you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account, they will spread their buck cheeks and you can take advantage of them. So please do it. We wanna stick it to Amazon and link your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account. There are instructions on how to do that in the show description. This episode of Pactor Factor is brought to you by DeShazer Ryan Realty. Right now, Doug DeShazer has beautiful lots available adjacent to Kukanusa Lake in Northwest Montana. Pull up your RV and access the hookups or build your own construction. Either way, you have access to world-class fishing, hunting, boating, swimming, biking, hiking, and the internet. No matter where you're looking to buy, make Doug DeShazer your real estate consultant at 406-291-1643. That's Doug DeShazer at 406-291-1643. Today's question from YouTube from David Bryan. Can you think of another console that dominated sales with so few exclusive games like the PlayStation 5? Even the N64 had more robust first party support. In fact, its sales have increased as its exclusive game output has decreased. How and why is this happening? People are buying it on the promise that there will be something in the future. And it's funny because I got asked a question on another episode, you know, was Jim Ryan fired because of cutting costs at studios? The better question would have been, was he fired because the first party support's been so bad? Um, and the answer is uh, they took their eye off the ball. I mean, I actually think that they switched the head of studios from Shu Yoshida to Herman uh, Holtz and he hasn't done a great job. Um, they haven't been productive. Um, it's it's good that they bought all the studios they purchased. So obviously, you know the the what do they call Bend the Bend Studio? Sony Bend. Yeah, they're yeah. good. Insomniac, good. The additions they made the last couple of years are really really good. But they, you know, with the exception of Insomniac, they haven't been particularly productive. And you know, Naughty Dog hasn't been particularly productive. And I don't know what's going on there. I mean, um, they haven't. When's the last time they had a new game? Last of Us Two which is what, five years ago? So, you know, again, I know there's more coming and I know Last of Us is coming remastered, but it's like, I think that Sony has not kept up the pressure on the studios. And, and in fact, Nintendo's done a far better job than anybody. And Microsoft's done a pretty good job of getting first party exclusives out. Now, some of them suck, Redfall sucks, but they've gotten stuff out. And honestly, that's not gonna slow down on Nintendo either. So why? because I think consumers uh, buy consoles out of habit. I think they really like PlayStation. I don't blame them. Um, my favorite consoles of all time have been PlayStations. I can't think of an Xbox model that I like better than a PlayStation model, for real. But why? Because of the history of first party support and the history of third party support. You know, that there's been, back, back in the day, GTA 3 was PlayStation exclusive, PS2 exclusive. Um, there used to be a lot of games like that, you know, and now there are some third party, obviously, but, but you know, like some, some licensed stuff like the, the Marvel stuff, but fewer and fewer and fewer. Um, I think we're all in, in love with PlayStation because of institutional memory that we remember 20 years ago and 10 years ago, how great the support was, and this will catch up with them. So I think your question is brilliant and you know, just well-timed. Um, when will people figure that out? We better not go through another Christmas this year like we did last year. Yeah, Sony just is known for the single player experience and again, Spider-Man is, and which is great, but they've really been bad at it lately. It's, it's sort of like, why do USC fans think they're gonna win the national championship every year when they get their ass kicked every year? Um, because they went there and they remember the days when they did win national championships. And, you know, when's the last time USC won the national championship? It's been a while. Um, but every year, I, I live in LA, I have to listen to my idiot neighbors who went to USC go, this is our year. Oh my God, Lincoln Riley. Oh my God, Caleb Williams. You know, were they seven and five? BFD. Um, so it's the same thing, you know, that they just hold out hope. Um, but it's the same thing. It's like, why does people think Alabama's gonna win every year? Not anymore. So, you know, every year uh, we have to listen to the fanboys and that's the same with PlayStation. Every year, it's the best console and I'm gonna own one because I've always loved my PS1 
one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna love my five. Good for you, you're right. I love my PS one, two, three, four. So I, I love my PS five. But my God, I can't even name a game other than God of War that I played on it. Because how many games have there been that have been PS five that you need a PS five? You know, I'm still waiting. You know, I'm still waiting for something else. There's so much content for PS one, two, three, four that you would you would still love to play and we've had to remaster a lot of the one two and three but ps4 library absolutely works on ps5 and i think people are happy with that content but does that justify the console purchase i think you didn't buy the console to play your library content because you could have kept your ps4 you bought the console to play new content which hasn't really been arriving not at the pace that you would have expected um, i mean how many ps5 exclusives has sony put out since launch like four or five right four or five in five in four years that's not enough right for three well four christmases it's not enough um where nintendo how many did they put out in the six years of switch 30 or more yeah it's crazy so i you know i don't think sony has enough content to do 30 but they have enough content to do 10 and they just haven't been doing it and part of it back to the jim ryan question from a few episodes ago you know, part of it is they're taking longer to make games. So when he's cutting back studio budgets, what he's really doing is saying, get the games out faster. And if the games come out faster and they're not good, that's gonna hurt the product. So it's one of those trade-offs like, you know, that's why I said this, this leak from Insomniac, Wolverine, which is two years out, is almost done. That just shows you what a great studio they are. Like, that's amazing. Um, they are just super talented and they get it out and they get it out fast. You need more of those. Um, so, you know, maybe we'll see that from all the other studios, you know, from Sony Santa Monica and Bend and uh, what's the Gran Turismo, Polyphony Digital and maybe, but Gran Turismo, how often does that come out? Every 10 years and every seven? I mean, it's not every four. Should be every four, but it's not. You know, so again, they take way too long and I think they kind of lost their way and they got on a cycle where they're not bunched up and maybe it'll be bunched up for the PS6. I'm gonna take a break now. Uh, I'm done talking to you, so thank you for joining me on Pactor Factor on sifted.net. Uh, if you're a Patreon patron or, or a uh, YouTube subscriber, thank you for your subscription. Uh, even if you are those things or you are not, please stick it to Amazon. Link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account very easy to do that amazon will bend over and take one in the rear from you for free and we'll pay shane for free if you remember to do that there are instructions on how to stick it to amazon in the show description below so do it please it's free money you already paid for it it's like having a coupon expire when you're going to buy the product anyway don't let the coupon expire it's free money um, okay thanks for joining us on pactor factor we will see you next time